I've been slowly, slowly just putting up a little bit of Christmas decorations. You saw the tree in Gabby's room. Um, but while everybody's still asleep right now, it's like 7 a.m., I'm going to put these new pillows on the couch that I got from Amazon. They're just pillow covers. And I hope they look nice with the gray. I know my house is more, the tones I'm going for are more blues and grays and stuff like that. More cooler tones. Um, but I wanted to do some green. And I haven't even opened these up. They're still in the in the packages. Um, but yeah, I got some green and then I got... Sorry, I'm trying to pick up these pillows. I got um, these striped pillows, so hopefully they look good on the couch. I'm going to go ahead and put them on and stop rambling. And we're going to see how they look. Gravel road, I've been asked to slow down. Place, do you know how? Pass the paper, my desk is out. Who will care for the world now? Rest with me, close to curtains, brew some herbal tea. Because online, I don't know if it was just the resolution of my phone screen or what, these look a lot deeper in color. This is more of a Kelly green. And the color that I was thinking was going to be was more of like, oh, emerald green, more um, gem toned in color. And this is just not what I was thinking. I mean, they look fine it's just the color is not what I envisioned in my head so I might keep it for a little bit just to see how I'm feeling about it maybe it'll look a little different once we have more decorations up but for right now I'm not feeling it as much as I thought I would in this lighting it looks a lot closer to what I thought it was going to look but okay if I turn you this way this is the actual color of what I'm seeing this Kelly green as opposed to like a beautiful deep emerald color okay so we're back in Gabby's room and we're working on the next project which is right above her dollhouse Kevin put these brackets up and then he'll put the shelves up when he gets off work today I know that they are off center but that's just because of where the studs were the shelves won't actually be off center so when we put the actual shelves up it's gonna overhang the bracket on this side by a lot but we wanted to make sure they were secure on the wall. So um, Kevin had an accident right here. So I'm gonna patch this up, sand it down and paint it. And to offset how weird the brackets look on the wall, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the brackets pink so they just kind of blend in. And hopefully once we get the shelves up, it won't be too noticeable. But I was really wanting to put these shelves up to use like to decorate for holidays and stuff like that and I have like little knickknacks that will go on there like I found this at the thrift store probably like six months ago from Goodwill this little wooden rocking horse and I just thought like little things like this would be cute to sit up on the shelves room might seem or actually like the house there are going to be a lot of shelves going up it might be a little bit too much because we still have the shelves over here little knickknack shelves with the eyelashes and then right here Gabby's bookshelves are gonna go right there and then I don't know if I showed you guys this 
in the last vlog. Kevin um, put up another shelf in Gabby's closet. So now she has her baskets here for organized. These came from Dollar Tree. And then up here, I have these Dollar Tree vacuum bags. And that just has all of her summer clothes. And her clothes like that are too big right now for next couple seasons are up there. And it's enough for me to stack them three high. So I got, I could do three high here, three high here. And then that's her asthma thing. She doesn't use it anymore, but I just keep it just in case. And then her Easy Bake Oven is up there. So yeah, super excited to have a shelf in here. Eventually, I'm going to have to pull all this out. Paint the uh, closet and then put up these decals that I got a while back, but not today. <laughs> Close this curtain because I'm just not ready to do that right now. Big news, big news, big news. The shelves are up. I was going to paint the actual shelf white, but I think I like the wood color. So I'm going to go in the garage probably tomorrow and see what color stains we have in there. And um, I just crashed into something. <laughs> and see if I like any of them. Because I'm really thinking that I like the wood look in here. For these shelves. Especially because I have a lot planned. I pulled out where I was unpacking boxes. And I found... Gabby's Christmas tree decorations that I got her last year that we never got to put up. So she has these two silver ones and then she has these three gold ones. And if I can make it to Dollar Tree, I'm going to go and see if I can find some of the pink ones too. And then she has some other things that will be going up on this shelf. And then I had another gold tree that I just set up over here. And then I put her silver pegasus up there so this shelf is coming along and oh awesome kevin hung up the dress up rack so that's up i was looking at some dress up clothes that i wanted to make for gabby these are her play silks this is her halloween costume i made you guys seen that and she has this little fairy costume and i'm going to be making her new butterfly wings probably in the spring a lot of projects, a lot of projects. Got to get the bookcases, the bookshelves painted. And they'll be going either above this or I'm thinking I lined them up above and I didn't know how I felt about it. So I might do them stacked in a single file going over here. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I was thinking back from my last vlog. The one where I organize my earrings. Maybe I should do an earring challenge. Is that what I should call it? But so just like challenge myself to wear earrings every day. I've been doing semi-decent on putting on mascara. I did put on some today. Like I said, I own a lot of pairs of earrings. I never wear them. I want to take more pride in my appearance and stuff. I put on a turtleneck today. It's very itchy. But it's uh, better than, you know, my standard t-shirt and sweatpants. So, you know, put up with a little discomfort. Maybe I'll put a tank top on underneath. I was thinking about doing the earring challenge. So, I'm going to try, try to wear earrings every day. Even if they're just like little small, you know, pearl or stud or something like that. Just, I want to build up habits that will get me closer to being the kind of person that I want to be because I want to be you know that girl I want to be that mom or that homemaker that dresses up and attempts to look nice and has a clean house it's just I want to try so that's the that's the new thing we've been keeping up with the mascara Eventually, I'll work my way up to wearing foundation or shoes. <laughs> but um, for now, it's just going to be the mascara from the previous vlog and then the earrings. So we're just building up healthy. I mean, they're non-consequential um, 
just little habits or little things that I want to challenge myself to do to bring myself closer to being that homemaker. So this is going to be like a whole challenge. I want to see what I look like at the end of the year what things are just like normal to me now. Well, normal to me a year from now. I mean, who knows what could happen in a year. I might even, you know, start wearing properly fitting bras. Like that's, that would be crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, earring challenge, day one. Okay, so I got these. They're called Bob Books. They're by Scholastic. I got them off of Amazon. And there's a set. Um, I think there's 13 books in here. And this is stage one. I think Gabby's a little bit past this, but she still loves reading these. So I'm going to go ahead and order the second set. But I'm just going to show you. It's just a collection of little books to help, you know with beginning to read so it's very simple little books so matt matt sat sam sam sat matt sat sam sat everybody sat they go in order so that was book one Ooh, sorry that was book one so then book two is like this and then by the time you get to book 13 Progressively a little bit harder. So now this is the no, it's twelve books. Yeah, twelve books. So this is the last book. So then by the end, they're reading sentences like this: "The vet had to fix the cat." Um, but like I said, I think Gabby's a little bit past these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the second set. But she still loves these, so I'm gonna keep this one. And we've been using these, I only had them for like four or five days, but we've been using these in conjunction with Hooked on Phonics. So I'll do Hooked on Phonics with her during homeschool. I'll have her pull these out like while I'm cooking or something like that and just have her read to me from these. And she loves it. I actually found another one. I'll have to include a picture here. I don't own that one, but I was thinking about ordering that set and it's fairly inexpensive for the amount of books you get i think this set right here was only 13 or 14 dollars off of amazon i have to check i'll link everything in the description but we've really been enjoying these dot dot has a hat. Mm -hmm. Dot has a hat. Right? That's the same dog. Right?
guys, this was so hard. As you can see, I had to change to a t-shirt halfway through and it was so hot. It was so much more work than I thought it was going to be. It is kind of crazy to see that, to think that people do this for fun gardening. And I'm going to attempt to have a full-fledged garden next summer. And it was just crazy how much work just went into planting these little tulips. So <laughs> I, I'm definitely going to do raised beds on the garden next year. And it was just really hard. <laughs> it, it, was, it was definitely something to be prepared for for next summer. But thanks for spending the day with us, you guys. We have fun planting our tulips. Hopefully they come out good and thanks for watching. See you next time.